Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Father Andrew Garden, priest of St David's Catholic Church in Dalkeith and St Luke and St Anne's Mayfield. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this time. C.S. Lewis tells us that if we're to act well, reflection must always come first. When you wake up each morning, he says, all your wishes and hopes for the day rush at you like wild animals. And the first job each morning consists simply in shoving them all back, in listening to that other voice, letting that other larger, stronger, quieter life come flowing in. What a beautiful description of the purpose of reflection, letting that other larger, stronger, quieter life come flowing in. C.S. Lewis knew that it didn't just happen, that it really was a job, a task, being attentive not to the noisiest voice, but to the true voice. Queen Margaret of Scotland understood that as well, just up the road in the castle nearly a thousand years ago. The court of Malcolm must have been a noisy place. So many voices, influences, clamouring for attention. But Margaret took time each day to reflect, to listen to that other voice, to let that other life come flowing in. And she found that voice, that life in the Gospels, the accounts of the things that Jesus said and did. And her book of the Gospels can still be seen in a library in Oxford. It was reflecting on this book that Margaret found the inspiration and the energy to act as she did, every day of her life, finding people who had nothing, not keeping her distance, but washing their feet, giving them food and clothing, filling the hall in the castle with people she'd found, giving them warmth and nourishment. Invite those who cannot repay you. She'd read that in her book, and it wasn't just a voice to listen to, but life, a stronger life, not just an idea, but the energy to carry that idea through. King Malcolm watched Margaret, and he saw a precious light coming into this country through her. There's a story that Margaret was once unable to find her gospel book. Eventually, she came upon Malcolm just sitting, holding the book in his hands. Although Malcolm himself was illiterate, unable to read, somehow he knew that this book was precious. It made his wife the person she was. She listened to the voice she found there. As he held her book, Malcolm somehow began to sense the value of reflection for Margaret and for Scotland. <clears throat> 